Hello people, uh, welcome to Tech Madness. Uh, this is Prashant and in today's tutorial, we are actually going to see how you can uh, edit multiple lines uh, wherever possible, obviously with conditions. So without any delay, let's see how to do that. So guys, uh, please uh, watch this video uh, till end so that uh, you can take benefit of uh, this uh, small uh, trick of Notepad++. So imagine you have some file so it can be any file so I have chosen XML file or it can be HTML file or text file or any other binary file so you have to identify the scenario where you can use this feature so I have identified the fee, uh, the scenario where uh, if you see these are the number of tags in XML file so later I realized okay for first four lines lines uh, I should have one more attribute like name uh, it should be uh, there should be a one more attribute called data which is assigned to zero as the initial value so I wanted to have uh, this newly added attribute on each line uh, for uh, these four lines okay and uh, I'm not going to edit the uh, rest of the two lines just to distinguish I, I can do it but uh, just uh, you wanted to I wanted to show you the difference so uh, how to do that so it is very uh, basic tip basically so in column to activate a column mode <coughs> you have to so right now my cursor is here uh, after after letter r press shift alt and uh, whatever number of lines you want to edit uh, those many number of lines you have to shift out i mean uh, press the down arrow so I already have pressed shift alt and now I'm pressing alt arrow oh, sorry down arrow okay so I have uh, pressed uh, down arrow four times so as you see here very long and like big uh, cursor is now blinking for all those selected lines that means now whatever I can write or erase uh, on this position it will get reflected for example if I press backspace it is removing the R from all four lines okay so I'm writing it again now I wanted to have basically uh, one space so I have pressed space button and then start typing so as you see as you are typing the letters are getting uh, written on all four lines right like this so this is a column mode where you can use uh, uh, very effectively okay so I'm going to show one more example so here uh, these are the number of lines of HTML file and uh, somehow I realized later that okay I want to have a bold tag for all of these lines okay so I have press shift and down arrow and have selected all the lines and I've started typing so as you see but now uh, we want to close the brackets so you actually cannot simply uh, press right arrow so you have to take a mouse or just you can use arrow button so I'm clicking back uh, here where I want to close bold tag again press shift alt and down arrow right I'll start sorry typing right so uh, guys I think uh, this is very uh, important feature uh, you can use anywhere you want so only condition is the indentation the vertical indentation should be match I mean you cannot simply uh, use this feature like uh, typing over here you know so if you uh, put your cursor here and press shift alt and down so it will be in between of uh, word name and if you type something like this I mean for example I'm let me type O so it will come like this so indentation should be there so that is the condition and uh, I think yeah that's it so this is called a column word so if you forgot this shortcut uh, there is a way uh, you can actually see the shortcut what is the shortcut to enable the column mode so if you go to edit menu 
and uh, then the column mode as a sub menu it will show you the tip what uh, shortcut options are available to enable this column mode each time guys so i hope uh, you like this video and um, i hope you will use uh, this uh, little uh, trick in your day to day work so for such a very interesting tips of notepad plus plus that i'm going to show you in upcoming videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please please uh, give us a thumbs up that is like this video and share this video as much as possible until then bye